hey youtube welcome back and today in this video we are going to take a look at how we can use if else statements inside of the while loop so let's just get into it okay then welcome back to max programming and in the previous video we were at here okay so we created the variable we uh, used the while loop and then we printed the number after the while loop so what was after the while loop okay inside the while loop it was a different number so it incremented with this statement uh, but before clearing this code out I just want to say you that uh, I want to teach you one more thing that is in the latest version of Python that <clears throat> instead of concatenating strings or any other type to your string what you can do is basically uh, let's first of all remove it okay what we did here is we added the plus sign and then we said str number so we are not going to do that so let's remove this and now what we want is we want that we uh, if you don't want to convert that like this so we have a way so before the first port of string what you have to do is just enter f okay so it will be a lowercase or an uppercase f it doesn't matter i'm using lowercase f because in the whole program we are going to use lowercase things so why should we jump on to uppercase now with this f this string is not going to be a normal string this one will be a formatted string so what you can do is now you can add some curly braces and inside of these curly braces you can simply enter the name of the variable or anything like that that you want to inject inside of this uh, what we say string for, or formatted string so we're gonna enter number <clears throat> and right here also let's do that so we're gonna say f and curly braces and then number this actually shortens our code and we don't need to convert this number to a string every single time we use it uh, and that makes our code very uh, look a lot more cleaner so now we just have one string okay one formatted string at both the uh, areas so we can just run this and you can see <clears throat> it's the same output as before so there are no changes uh, in this so from now on we are only going to use going to be using this thing so we are not going to be concatenating okay so that's done so let's clear out this code now we are going to learn how we can use if else and elif statements inside of while loop so you know we use the if statements outside of the while loop just basically in the program so now we are going to use it inside the while loop so first of all let's create a variable called number and let's set to one okay so this is the number one so let's add a comment because comments are actually very useful so i'm going to say number initialized okay now let's go down and on the fourth line or any of the lines you want i'm going to use a while loop so while number is less than or equal to 10 okay simply we are using less than or equals to so we are checking about this number that is it less than or equals to 10 we're going to put a colon and we are going to enter the last line of the code which will be number plus is equal to 1 so what this will mean is this is going to increment the number so let's add a comment number increases by one okay now don't forget this indentation very important okay so now what we are going to do is <clears throat> you can simply use the print statement print function and then print out the number just like this so that's going to do it but what do we want is using an if statement so using an using a condition inside of this while loop so how we can do that so let's get rid of get rid of this 
now what are we going to do is we are just going to check about one number that we don't want to print for example if you use print and then you say number so what this is going to do is it's going to print all the numbers numbers from 1 till 10 okay it's going to do that so we don't want this thing we want a particular number not to be printed so what we can do is we are incrementing this number right so after end of this loop we are incrementing this number so let's use this number variable only to actually uh, um, not to print a number so we are going to use an if statement so we we can say if number is equal to okay we are using double equals because we are comparing about that if the number is equal to that thing okay so if number is equal to let's say uh, if the number becomes 4 <clears throat> so if the number becomes 4 what we want is print I don't like wait a minute okay so we can use double quotes here I don't like four so you can enter in four here but we are going to use that formatted string so let's put f here and then instead of four we are going to put curly braces and let's say number so what we are doing is we are going we are saying i don't like and then curly braces number so we can remove this double quotes if you want so let's remove it and right there also we can remove these double quotes and use single quotes instead but what we have to do is after this dawn okay so after this dawn uh, before this single quote you have to uh, enter backslash so backslash means it escapes this character and it uses it inside of inside the string so i don't like this number so when the number will become four okay so uh, what will happen is uh, python will check if the number is less than 10 or equals to 10 it will go inside the loop it will see this thing okay so if number is equal to 4 it will check this condition so this is not true right now okay so the number is 1 okay then uh, uh, python checks that hey while number is less than equals 10 yes it is so <coughs> it's 1 and then it will check for this condition right here so it will check for uh, the number is equal to 4 and no it's not so it will not go inside of this loop uh, I'm sorry this uh, if condition and then it will just skip this and go down okay and then uh, use the other things that are available so yeah that's it and when this loop uh, goes over and goes over and over then you're going to get some time at any point of time after 3 you will get 4 so it will check for this condition if number is equal to 4 then the number will be equal to 4 and then it's going to enter this condition it's going to see that we have a formatted string that we have to print so i don't like number okay so i don't like and then it's going to print this number okay now we want to skip number 4 we just want to skip number 4 we don't want to skip any other number okay so what should we do then okay. so for example if we print this that uh, number is and then curly braces number so if you print this thing what will happen is when you run this program you're going to get one is uh, number is one two three then you will get i don't like four but then you will get number is 4 okay so if you don't like 4 then why are you printing it that's the case and then it goes on on its daily routine so if we don't like 4 then why are we printing it so the solution to this problem is we have to put this print function inside of our else statement so let's say else and then colon and then we are going to indent it so what happens is basically 
it enters the while loop if the number is 4 then it's going to enter inside of if statement and it's going to print this thing but what about else then it's going to print this thing so let's run our program and you're going to see number is 1 2 3 and then i don't like 4 so i'm not going to print that number is 4 so 5 6 7 8 and it goes on till 10 so what basically it's doing is it's checking this condition then it's going inside of the loop and then it skips the else statement so when the number is 4 it will skip this else statement and then it will go on and then make the number 5 right here okay and then it will again go inside of the loop because it's less than 10 and then it will check this condition it's it's going to be false because number is not equal to 4 number will be 5 after this loop so it will go into the else and then it will print this thing number is number okay so if you don't understand it so just play around with it and see this video uh, more and more times as you can because if you don't understand it at one go you have to use something like uh, you have to see this video many times because one time cannot help you i also when i learned python that uh, if i did not understood any topic if i uh, wasn't understood any kind of uh, concept then what i read is i watched any video or read about it more and more okay and again and again so that it helps you in that case uh, so that was it for while inside of the while loop we use the if else and similarly you can use elif so uh, we can just say after this if i'm going to say elif okay which stands for else if <clears throat> so elif number is equal to let's say if i want to skip seven or let's say nine so put a colon and then print formatted string i am not going to print number and then curly braces number okay so what this is going to do is if the number is not 4 it will go into the elif if the number is 9 then it's going to go uh, and execute this print statement it will it will skip the else one okay let's run it and then you're going to see that on 4 and on, on 9 we get different text so 1 2 3 it's uh, different 5 6 7 8 it's different and 10 it's different so on 4 and on 9 it's a bit different so it's because we use the elif else and if statement in our program and in the next video we are going to take a look at one more thing uh, a, a very cool program that is uh, not that cool but we can uh, we are going to make that program inside of our pycharm and basically that is going to be a python program and we are going to save that file okay so uh, yeah and that program will be uh, like a, a book seller so you will sell books uh, with the help of this while loop so that's going to be it for this video guys hope you like it share it with others and finally thanks for watching